Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to use the periodic table to work out the ions formed by elements. You should then be able to state the formulas of polyatomic ions. Ok, so in this video we're looking at ions. I'm showing you here a lithium atom forming the lithium ion. As you can see the lithium atom loses its one outer electron and the ion produced now has a full outer shell. The lithium ion has the same electron configuration as the noble gas helium. Now this brings us to an important point. When metal atoms react they tend to lose their outer electrons to form positive ions. I'm showing you a copy of the periodic table and we can often use this to work out the charge on the ion formed by an element. Remember that we find metals to the left of the red line and non-metals to the right. Group 1 metals form ions with a charge of 1 plus and group 2 metals form ions with a charge of 2 plus. Now group 3 is more complicated and we cannot easily predict the charges on the ions of group 3 metals. However there is one which you need to learn and that is aluminium. Aluminium forms an ion with a charge of 3 plus. Looking in the centre of the periodic table we've got the transition metals. Transition metals are unusual as they can often form several positively charged ions. You need to learn the ion formed by silver. Silver forms the ion Ag+. Now zinc is not a transition metal and you'll find out why in a later video. Zinc forms the ion Zn2+, and you need to learn that. Coming up we're going to look at the ions formed by non-metal elements. Ok, I'm showing you here the fluorine atom forming the fluoride ion. In this case the fluorine atom gains an electron to form the fluoride ion. The fluoride ion has a full outer shell and has the same electron configuration as the noble gas neon. Now when non-metal atoms form ions they tend to gain electrons and form negative ions and we change the name of the ion to end in ide. For example fluorine atoms form the fluoride ion. Now the name only changes to ide if the non-metal has reacted with one other element. So I'm showing you three examples here. In each case you can see that the non-metal has reacted with one other element and the name of the non-metal ion ends in ide. Again we can use the periodic table to work out the charge on the non-metal ion produced. The group 5 elements nitrogen and phosphorus form ions with a 3 minus charge. The group 6 elements oxygen and sulphur form ions with a 2 minus charge. And the elements in group 7 form ions with a 1 minus charge. Ok, we're going to finish now by looking at the charges on some other non-metal ions. Now I need to point out that you should learn these off by heart. You will be expected to know these in the exam. The hydrogen ion has a charge of plus 1. The ammonium ion has the formula NH4 plus. The hydroxide ion has the formula OH minus. Nitrate is NO3 minus. Carbonate is CO3 2 minus. And sulphate is SO4 2 minus. Now you'll notice that all of these ions apart from the hydrogen ion contain two different elements. Scientists call these polyatomic ions. In the next video we look at how to use the charges on ions to work out the formula of ionic compounds. Thank you.